Chapter 27 CIA Man The Fugs Originally released on the album Virgin Fugs ESP Disc 1967 Written by Thule Kuffenberg Sam Phillips would have loved this record He couldn't have released it But he would have wished he'd recorded it Maybe with Jerry Lee Who wouldn't have known what to make of it either But would have been glad to have recorded it And boogied it up like nobody's business It definitely would have been an underground hit The lyrics are anything but generic Who can kill a general in his bed Overthrow dictators if they're red Fucking A man, CIA man If these lyrics don't get your attention Then you must be comatose It's amazing how powerful the fucks could be With just a few edgy instruments (laughs) This song turns a CIA man into a comic book character You kind of have to wonder why DC Comics or Marvel didn't come up with CIA Man. Stan Lee would have had a ball drawing up this guy. This record is a paranoiac flip side uh, to Johnny Rivers' Secret Agent Man. But this is much stronger and more to the point. Buying records by the Fugs was like buying some Sun Ra records. You had no idea what you would get. One record would sound pretty slick well as slick as they could sound but slick as as in recorded in a studio with a band that stopped and started at the same time then you pick up another release and it sounded like it was recorded by a tomato can telephone on the end of a broom handle seems like the folks could record anywhere and sometimes the liner notes on the albums were in Esperanto they dared you to figure out what they were about One of the ways creativity works is the brain tries to fill in holes and gaps. We fill in missing bits of pictures, snatches of dialogue. We finish rhymes and invent stories to explain things we do not know. When you don't know who Johnny Pissoff or Slum Goddess is, when you have no clue about Coca-Cola douches, your imagination just fires away. The Fugs recorded this song a couple of times, live and slick and weird and primitive. They're both good and right on the money. The Fugs get their name from a Norman Mailer novel called The Naked and the Dead. When The Naked and the Dead came out in 1948, censorship rules at the time forced Mailer to substitute the word Fug for Fuck. The Fugs could have just as well have called themselves the Fugs, but decided to go for the safer route so the records could be purchased in a record store and not in a back alley. Norman Mailer, or the Fugs not, notwithstanding, the word Fug never caught on as a substitute for fuck. You don't say Fug you or what the Fug, or you ain't no fugging good. We still use a proper terminology. You get the feeling that Fugs never used all their real talent or strength at any one time. You always felt that they were holding something back and could explode at any moment. <laughs>